Hey folks, Morton G here. We are in the Morton G garage. We're putting together a sim rig I'm building from scratch, basically. Um, I'm kind of taking apart my old rig, which is like a PVC built one. Um, and I'm trying to make one out of wood. I'm gonna reuse the seat from my old rig. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. And then um, I'm gonna put it onto a wood frame. I'm just building out two by fours and some screws. We're gonna paint it up black and um, Hopefully it's going to work. It's more, um, just get a little bit more stable because uh, the PVC one's kind of falling apart a little bit. And also to help with storage, I have like a little closet that the PVC one does not fit into through the door. So I want something I can just drag in and out because um, uh, my office we kind of use as a guest bedroom uh, when we have company and stuff. So it's nice to be able to store it away uh, per the wife's request. So we're going to do that. So here's the building process. And, uh, so far I have the frame together. Let's take a look at that right now. All right. So here is the frame base. It's, um, about 50 inches lengthwise a 16 and a half width. So it's real skinny to fit through the door square over here is where the chair is going to go on top of. That's already on a a two by four frame itself. So that's gonna go on top of this. And I wanna get this painted so I can do the chair tomorrow, hopefully. So I'll be taking the, the chair apart um, either later tonight or tomorrow morning. Hopefully we'll get this all painted up black. And I still have a little ways to go. As you can see, I'm working off the tailgate of my truck because I don't have a really good workbench. But this kind of works, so we'll pull up to the garage. Um, I'm using this like a miter uh, set because uh, I don't have a circular saw or anything like that. I did have a, a jigsaw, but it's kind of easier. It's actually easier and quicker for to do it by hand and more accurate to get the straight cuts. I'm also have to do some angled cuts, which uh, this is going to help. It has a um, 45 degree angle and other uh, types of angles on it that we can utilize to get straight cuts. Um, a drill, and I'm using some. 10, number 10 screws, two and a half inch. I also have some three and a half inch for my diagonals. There's my two by fours. And I also have a piece of plywood that I'm gonna use. So the, over here is where the foot area is gonna be. All right, folks, it's day two of my uh, sim rig build. So this was the old rig, PVC pipe built one, which is falling off, which came with this seat over here. So I just removed the seat that was clamped to this, and I brought up the half-finished wooden frame that I built yesterday, just to test it out, see, make sure my heights and stuff were where I want them, and they generally are. I took these carpeted pieces, came off of that, and I'm going to reuse at least this one, which was originally the foot pedal area. Uh, fits perfectly across. So we use that um, to place our wheel. And I still need to put in two support beams in the back here. I haven't cut already. I just need to put them in, screw them in. See, it's hot as hell here in Texas. <laughs> Another uh, warm day, and we're uh, in the garage. Like when I went over when we we're up in the office, I brought this just to jump down and. Uh, be tossing that but um here we go so far so i added on some beams here and i'm going to add on this piece to the end and my plan is to put two blocks here and pedals will fit up into here and to hit those blocks so that way we don't get any lean back and then after that what we're gonna do we're just gonna paint it and uh 
paint the frame, and then I'll install the seat when I bring it back upstairs into the office. Um, so we've added on these two things to the end. This two by four across with this nailed into the top. So this will be where the brakes go. Connecting those blocks, drilling about a half, a half inch or about an inch into the board, and then um, getting a screw up into here, so three and a half inch screw. So that should not be going anywhere. After I paint it, I'll uh, screw that in. And then the uh, logic pedals go right on top of here, and it should be just enough to catch those. Here we are again, day, well, day three. We had to wait 24 hours for the paint to dry, so we put a nice spray paint, black, semi-gloss, the two coats. Fastened this to the top. The two side posts. I wonder if I should put have put another support across um, over here. But uh, so the next task is taking this chair and attaching it to the back base here. I did do a closet test, and the front part does fit in nicely. Got the chair installed onto it. It's all into place. So let's take a look. Okay, so just a quick update uh, a few months later since I originally filmed this build. I have since upgraded to a direct drive wheel, the Fanatec CSL DD base, and I have the McLaren wheel here. Then uh, upgraded the load cell pedals to the Fanatec Upsport V3s, uh, where previously I had all of the Logitech G29 uh, two items. So for the rig, I added this platform which uh, screws right into the base and the pedals themselves are screwed into the platform in each four corners here. Now it's a bit of a pain if you need to adjust any connections which are not uh, reachable unless I do patch the pedals from the base, but uh, it, it is doable. Um, I also ended up adding this two by four brace between the two poles and uh, which I have a plywood platform is attached to the wheelbase itself. And also note I did um, on the two by four brace it, add a slight angle to it as the wheelbase alone is not slanted at all and I just needed to get a, a little bit of more of an angle to be more comfortable uh, while driving. You can also see I have the base attached directly to the plywood platform. There's a bit of give and, uh, when I push down on the wheel a little bit so maybe a wedge or some additional brace um, diagonally coming up might be helpful here uh, but regardless uh, it drives pretty good. Okay so the main reason for building this style of rig was to have the ability to use only one computer station essentially. Uh, I need to be able to use my PC for other gaming, FF PS games, etc. Video editing and other computer work, but I also wanted to easily transition it to the racing cockpit. So I just moved out the office chair and then as I'm on carpet here, I also have uh, these slide pads. I can easily slide the rig into place on the carpet. Now you do have to give uh, leave a little bit of space in the back for the cords at the particular height of the desk I have. And then I have this widescreen monitor on a movable arm mount that can just slide it out almost to the back of the base here. And then when I need to transition, I just move the monitor back and slide it back out and share it back in. The distance I can get the monitor to is about 25 to 26 inches from where I position myself in the seat to the screen. I get really good field of view. And then, uh, like I said, then when I need to transition, I just move the monitor back, slide it back out, and the chair back in. And one USB cable I have in the slot in the front of the PC. So if I need to disconnect that, I can easily do that. So there you have it, folks. My rig build for under about 60 bucks, I think it all cost me. Not including the chair, which I had already, of course. But uh, hopefully you might find this build video useful to give it a, you some ideas for a DIY rig that better suits your combined work and play space. But until next time, safe driving.